what I'm question. Again, in politics, some sometimes skew uh, the reality of good legislation, but never for long. Once the legislation flows and becomes in practice, people will see that it'll be a good thing. But you can't control politics and the lies and the agendas. And, and let, let's stay there for a second, because mm -hmm. it, in politics, sometimes, stop me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. th there is a certain amount of mudslinging that, that, that is done, right? Well, of course, yeah. yeah. Because it's really about getting folks elected, but we don't want to be distracted when there's good policy ahead, and the Safety Act is really good policy. Okay, and, and I wanted you here specifically, right? Yeah. Because the Chicago Tribune recently described you as frustrated by the level of lying sure. that has happened around the safety act. Is that an accurate characterization of how you feel? Are you frustrated? Yeah, because what, what we don't want is, we want the politics, right? We want the banter, the entertainment of politics. But we got really good legislation. We shouldn't attack it and just, just flat out lie about it. If you don't like it, it's one thing. Have an opinion, because all opinions matter. Mm -hmm. But lies should be uh, removed, particularly when we're talking about uh, legislation that affects people's lives. Okay, okay. So it is your position then that there are just a lot of outright lies out here. It's Without gone beyond the, the typical sort of political back and forth and folks are just lying. Yeah, you either like it or you don't like it, but flat out lying about it is wrong. The Safety Act is going to make us all safer. Okay, so, so let's do this now. Explain to the people at home mm -hmm. why you believe Illinois needed the Safety Act in the first place. What was happening yeah. here that made you say this is something we need to do? Yeah, well, we have a criminal justice system that's been in place for a long time. Okay. You have to continue to analyze systems. Okay. And what the system was doing is if you had a lot of money, but you were dangerous, you could bail out of jail. So if I asked you, should we allow dangerous rich people to be free, and should we keep non-dangerous poor people in jail, most folks would agree. So but we have a system that produces that. If I was to commit a very serious crime, but I had the money, I would get a very high bail, I would just bail out. So my money was dictating freedom. So should money dictate freedom? That's the first question. Once you agree that money should not dictate freedom, now we have to do what? Create a system in which money does not matter, but the severity of your crime matters. And that's what the Safety Act does. Primarily, 